I want to take a moment to introduce you to Lady Grizz basketball player number five, Macaulay Feller. Macaulay has made the academic all-conference team every single year she's played. She has been voted most improved player two years in a row. She even made the Big Sky all-conference team last year. She first came to the University of Montana for track. She then decided to change it up and try out for the Lady Grizz basketball team. She walked on and earned a full ride scholarship. Your help recover. You can't even compare her to like a good person. Like she's so much more than that. Like she just she does everything for everyone. Yeah. I think that um, you can tell in the way she plays that she's been through a lot to get where she is and to um, she's grown a ton. Um, so yeah, that chip on her shoulder a little bit, but also just it gives her the experience and the humility that she shows like when she plays. Free throw line extended. Here we go. Enter Coach Robin Selvig, who's coached McCauley all the years that she has played here. In fact, Coach Robin Selvig has coached at the University of Montana since 1978. He has achieved more than 800 career victories here. Only seven other coaches in women's basketball were able to do so. Coach Selvig has also earned 20 trips to the NCAA tournament. She's a little bit of a free-spirited player. Uh, she is a real good shooter, but one of the things to, you know, uh, you don't know what you're going to get sometimes on Macaulay. The good thing is, a lot of times with kids, and earlier in her career it was a little more this way, you might go out and it might, you might get turnovers. Uh, something's going to happen when she gets the ball. As she's matured, something's going to happen when, when she gets the ball, but usually it's a really good thing now. Seldom see Macaulay without a smile on her face, uh, and uh, it's a pretty good trait. But what if I told you she was adopted? Her birth mom was a college athlete, didn't know she was pregnant, went to the hospital for stomach pains, and a few hours later, Macaulay was born. Her birth mom soon after gave her up for adoption. Macaulay's family then adopted her, and she grew up in Lewistown, Montana. Um, so I actually always knew, because uh, my mom, my mom, mom, she always used to like lay me down in bed, and she'd always remind me, like, you're adopted, but it doesn't mean anything. Like, we still we love you. Like, you're adopted. I love you so much. You're adopted. Like, it just is something I knew but didn't understand. So what would you do if you've never met your birth mom? Well, this is what Macaulay did. This is, like, really, this is kind of deep. But I'm trying to get better at talking about it, so this is good. So I started making a video, and I just, like, went out and bought a camcorder. And I just started filming stuff. And uh, it took me about like eight months of my whole freshman year to make this video, and I sent it to her on June 1st. Um, yeah, it's like a 12 minute video. And it's just about who I was, and like, uh, just, I don't know. It was really hard because, like, how, it's hard to talk about yourself. You know, and like, show who you are. Like, who would you ever tell, what would you tell somebody who's never met you that you just want them to know who you were in case they, like, need to know, you know? The Lady Grizz are looking strong this season and looking to build off of last year's success. Last season they made the NCAA tournament. Lost in the first round, but they lost in Notre Dame. Yeah, the Notre Dame that made it all the way to the national championship game. 